Today is Wildfire Community Preparedness Day and I want to talk to you about the importance of defensible space around your home. Looking at the importance of the actions you take uh, as a homeowner around your structure to harden your structure and create these defensible space to allow time for firefighters to successfully engage and, and save your home. Uh, this home here uh, had a high flame intensity that came towards the structure and because of the defensible space the homeowner did we were able to uh, have engines and firefighters in here during the flaming front safely for them and to save the structure. So let's first start at uh, a thing called setback. How far do you move your structure away from the edge of the slope? As you can see here, we have a short slope, but fairly steep slope. And you can see the intensity of the burn. Trees were torching, torching. The entire canopy was burned on the trees, throwing a lot of embers. They've got their house at least 30 feet back from the edge of that structure and they brought their driveway between the slope and the structure that creates a barrier from that flaming front also this house is on pier and beams obviously and they have an underpanning so embers cannot get underneath the structure and that uh, resists fire getting up underneath smoldering and catching the house on fire they've maintained the grass between the driveway and the edge of the structure very low and as you can see this grass is much greener than the grasses that are out there so this has been watered. Also note a hose that they have had here and they've left uh, in case fire comes along or because they were watering the grass. So all good points and all easy things a homeowner can do. On the porch, again wrapping the, the, uh, structure, the driveway in front They've kept everything very low. Uh, one of the advantages they could have done is put the underpanning under their, or on their deck, but since they haven't, they've maintained under their deck clear of majority of anything that would catch an ember and, and start on fire. As we come up the roadway here further, They've kept a clear defensible space close to their structure, 30 foot setback, and at least 60 feet where they have limbed and trimmed the trees up. Now over here, they do have a concentration of juniper or cedar as people call those. Highly volatile when it's really dry, like we had on this fire. You can see the torching that went on where it completely consumed that canopy. So the more you can push that area back, and what I mean push back, is maintain trees, but limb those trees up so fire doesn't come up underneath in the surface and get into the canopy and throw a lot of embers onto your structure. As we look around the back side of the structure, up and away, they've maintained it very clear again, creating that defensible space. Uh, we will look at some photos As you can see in those photos, those engine companies were able to get in here, a lot of ember wash, a high heat component, particularly from that juniper that torched, but they were able, because of defensible space, to place an engine in the driveway, bring a hose lay up this driveway because of the low fuel load, and then suppress any embers and the ember wash that hit this structure. So again, on wild community wildfire preparedness day are you prepared for wildfire do you understand that you as a homeowner can make huge decisions that impact the survivability or the vulnerability of your house thank you for your time today